Hello and welcome to this video on how do I analyze and decide on the best grouping structure in my report. My name is Steven Renders, I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer and this video was made in collaboration with the training center Platan. At the end of this video we will have created a report showing the sales by salesperson, group by year and document type in a matrix layout including expand collapse navigation. For this we will use the grouping capabilities of the Tablix data region in which we will make use of the combination of row and column grouping in a parent-child relationship and also adjacent grouping. A Tablix is a flexible report item that can be used to display data in a grid format with layout possibilities ranging from the simple tables to advanced matrices. This video will show how to create a Tablix with adjacent groups, totals and subtotals. We will create this report in three easy steps. First, we will create the datasets in the Report Dataset Designer. We will decide upon the required data items and fields and which captions and labels to include in the dataset. Then, we will create the layout in Visual Studio Report Designer, where we will use the Tablix Data Region grouping capabilities. We will start by adding a Tablix Data Region to the body of the report, and next, we will enter the detail information the fields that we would like to aggregate in the report. Then we will add a parent group on salesperson and customer number and after that we will enhance the Tablix by including adjacent groups on the posting year using expression and document type. We will also include a header row and display the calculated totals and subtotals. The last step is then to include expand collapse navigation in the report. We will do this by using the visibility properties of the group on salesperson. In step 1 we will create the dataset. The most important thing when creating a report, especially when grouping is involved, is how to create the dataset. In this example we will keep the dataset as simple as possible. The question to ask is what information needs to be displayed in the report and where does it come from? and which table or which tables need to be combined to fetch the required records. And remember, when using multiple data items, the resulting dataset will be flattened, containing rows and columns. Understanding how the dataset is flattened is crucial, because grouping and sorting is applied on top of the resulting dataset in the Tablix control in Visual Studio. To get started, it is helpful to begin with a list of fields you would like to have available in the datasets and then decide how to get the data. In this report, the list of fields would be, for example, salesperson, name and code, customer, name and number, amount, document type, and the year by using the posting date. Looking at the list of fields, you will notice that in this example, the core information is stored in the customer ledger entry table. This will then become our main data item. Some of the fields come from other tables, for example the customer name and salesperson name come from the customer and salesperson purchaser tables. We will create global variables for these two tables, fetch the fields and add them to the datasets. Next, you have to think about the captions and the labels. The report needs to be fully multilanguage enabled, so we will make use of the include caption property of fields in the dataset where applicable. In this report, we will activate the include in dataset property for the fields salesperson code and customer number. Next, we will add the caption for the document type using the field caption function to the datasets. We could instead use a label, but this way we can reuse the caption multilanguage property from the underlying source table. On the report, we also need to display the report title, grant total and year. For these fields, we will add labels in the report label designer. Our dataset is now ready. The next step is to create the layout of the report. The first step was to create the dataset in the report. We have seen how to add the required data items and fields in the report, include the required captions and the labels. The next step is to create the layout of the report in Visual Studio. For this we will start by adding a Tablix data region into the body of the report and enter the details that need to be grouped. Next we will add a parent group and an adjacent group in the matrix. 
then we will include the header row and include totals. To create the layout of the report, we will select in the toolbox the table control and drag it onto the report body. In the detail row, we will add the field amount from customer ledger entry. Then we will select the second and third columns by using the corresponding column handle and then click delete. Next, we will select the first text box and set the font weight property to bold. Then in the row groups window, we will click the detail row and select add group parent group. In the group by field, we will select the salesperson name. Click OK to close the tablex group window. Next, we will add a group on the customer number. We will select the tablex control and then in the row groups window, we will select the details and then select add group parent group. In the group bar field, we will select the customer number from the customer ledger entry table. And then we will click OK. And next, we will delete uh, the group tree in the first row of the tablex. To be able to display the salesperson code besides the salesperson name, we will create an expression for the salesperson text box. To do this, we will right click on this text box and select expression. In the expression designer, we will enter the following expression. We will then repeat a similar process for the customer name and number text box. The following step is to create a group on the year on the posting date. From the dataset, we will select the posting date and we'll drag it into the column groups window of the tablex control. Next, we'll go into the properties of the group and we'll change the expression. This expression will make sure that we are grouping on the year of the posting date. We will now also apply the same expression on the text box in which we are showing the posting date. So the first expression is for the grouping, the second expression is the value that is displayed in the report. The next step is to create the group on document type. For this we'll go into the column group window, select the first posting dates, then add a group and next adjacent after. In the group by field we'll select the document type and we will click OK to close the tablex group uh, window. Now on the third row, on the fourth column, we will also select the amount from the customer ledger entry table. Next, we will create a header row for the column titles. First, we will right click the row handle for the second row and select delete rows. Then we will select the row handle for the first row and select insert row outside group above. This will become the header row. Now we need to enter expressions in these two text boxes to be able to display the year and document type. In the text box for the year, we will select the year parameter. In the text box for the document type, we will enter the expression to fetch the caption from the dataset. Now we will create a total column to show the total for the amounts. So in the column group window, we will right click the group 4 and say add group adjacent after. In the group by, we will create an expression which is equal to the string all. We will close the group expression window, we will then split the text boxes in the header and we will delete this expression. Next we will add uh, the grand total into the text box of the header row. In the new text box on the detail level, we will add the amount from the customer ledger entry and we will change the expression to be able to summarize this information by sum. Next, we will repeat this process for the other amount text boxes in the table. We will now add a group total row into the matrix. For this, we will select group 2, say add total after. We will replace and add the grand total label in here and we will bold the line and repeat the same process for the last column. Next, we will enhance our table by adding colors for the totals, colors for the adjacent groups. We will merge the four text boxes in the left corner of the table and include the report title and change uh, the font size. To further enhance the reports, 
you can go into the group properties and rename the groups so the name represents the field on which we are grouping. So this concludes step two to create uh, the layout. So we started by adding the tablex data region and then the fields, the amount from custom ledger entry that need to be grouped as details. Next, we added the parent group. We added some adjacent groups also to able to include the totals. We added the header row and the subtotals into the tablex control. The next step will be to include expand collapse functionality into the report by changing the visibility properties and applying hidden and toggle item properties on the correct fields of the report. Next, we will go into the properties of the customer group and we will enter the visibility options. When the report is initially executed, we will hide the row and display will be toggled by the report item containing the salesperson. We have now created the report. So to summarize, we created the report in three easy steps. We started by creating the data set and adding the required data items, fields, captions and labels. Next, we went into Visual Studio and we used a Tablex data region, entered the detail information, parent child groups and adjacent groups on posting year, document type, salesperson and customer number. Then we included a header row and totals. We enhanced the report by changing the font and adding some colors. And last but not least, we included expand collapse navigation by using the visibility settings, toggle item and hidden property on the salesperson field. Thank you for watching this video. My name was uh, Steven Renders. I am an expert Microsoft certified trainer. And this video was made in collaboration with the Platan Training Center.